So unless someone texts me or tweets me within the next couple of minutes and says, Oh, we've got a goal! And it's been put in by Doucet. Backhand on the doorstep. And the Stingrays have got the opener. Laddidge in, moved it down the boards, but then had his stick lifted. And he tries to return the favour on Line Webber. Line Webber's got it forward to Hartman. Can he get it across to single? He can. Bounds has made a terrific stop. Then Safar and the shot's gone through. Not sure if Hartman got a tip, but the Caps created chaos in front of the Stingrays goal. And they've got themselves an equaliser. Back to Tendler, back to Silverthorne. Tendler's got room, this is dangerous, this is Tendler. It's bouncing back off the glass and it's been knocked over the line. It's Mariani after the puck came back off the boards and Heidlowski was in no position to stop it. Silverthorne. Cloutier to Gominyuk. Plays the pass at the second time of asking. Silverthorne around to Smith. Cloutier. Dominic's got room. Oh, the puck's sitting loose in the crease and Tendler's lifted it in. The first save was made by Heidlowski. It could have gone anywhere. It went straight to Jeremy Tendler. So confirmation of the assist to follow. So first assist to Silverthorne. And the second assist to Gominyuk, who was shot from the blue line, that caused the initial save. Singrace turned the puck over and they'll look to break. Here comes Lozon. Doucette, wrist shot, top corner. The Stingrays are turning on the style. And it's too much for the Edinburgh Capitals. There's Lozon. Cloutier. In for Doucette, he knocks it down and he puts it past Heidlowski. Oh! The Stingrays are at it again. And so is that man, Guillaume Doucet. Horner, Hartman, McIntyre. Horner tried to get it to Dobron. The Stingrays are trying to pinch it. And here we go. Can Doucet reach it? Oh, he can't. McIntyre came across. Doucette's got it back, there's still a scoring opportunity for the Stingrays. He's trying to walk it all the way in, and the puck's gone across the line, and the goal will count. And Doucette's got his fourth. Idlowski flat out in his goal. Doucette really barreled into him and knocked the puck beyond him. But the goal will count. Thirty-nine fifty-three, and there is concern for Thomas Idlowski, who is still down. McIntyre did well to disrupt Doucet, who very nearly went clean through on the break, but having had the puck knocked away from him, he went and got it back and drove the crease. So Thomas Idlowski still down, hasn't moved since being beaten by Doucet on the goal. And this is a matter of some concern. And he's now back to his knees. But he still doesn't look well, I don't know if he's going to be able to continue or not.
And Craig Holland still has the baseball cap on. He's not on the ice warming up as yet. Caps obviously will hope that Heidlowski is able to continue. Of course, they are playing tomorrow as well. They're home to the Brayhead clan tomorrow. They're home again on New Year's Eve. Hogmanay hockey against the Five Flyers. It's a busy time for the Caps. They can't afford to be without Thomas Idlowski. Although six goals have gone past him. Not easy to pick fault with this performance. He's been left exposed badly on a few occasions. Well, he's not going to be able to continue. He's holding his head. And he will skate off. Craig Holland has the helmet on. And Heidlowski is going to head straight to the visiting dressing room. Halechko trying to find Hay. Lozon tangled with Safar momentarily. Still Carl Lozon. Lovely pass out front and put in by Cloutier. And three games running. The Stingrays have got seven. it was Pasha that's being credited with the goal and it was Lauzon who supplied the assist that's the only assist of the goal even strength 44-45 Portwood Zembergs nice move around Mariani knocked away Benedict with the shot kicks away by Bolton Chamberlain final few seconds Silverthorne, Tendler, does he want a long last shot at goal? Sent in, there's no touch from Silverthorne. Chamberlain gets to it and time expires. And the Stingrays have won by seven goals to one again. So the Stingrays have played four home games in December and they've won the lot. Things will get tough from here though. The Stingrays go on the road to Belfast, to Sheffield, and then to Coventry. And if they can keep banging the goals in like they have been recently, they might just cause an upset or two. Just the one goal in the final period, it came from Omar Pasha, assisted Lawson and Chilcott. And that is that. Still no news on Thomas Heidlowski's condition, unfortunately. So he didn't re-emerge for the third period following the injury sustained. When Doucette scored his fourth goal late in the second period.